Amsterdam has a rich variety of museums. The Van Gogh Museum, the Anne Frank House, the Stedelijk Museum, and as the jewel in the crown, the Rijksmuseum, with all the Rembrandts, with the Vermeers, we're all open. We have beautiful collections. Amsterdam itself is a museum, and we hope to welcome you. I uh, grew up next door to the W139. I'm an artist. I make uh, mostly mechanical moving sculptures on monumental scale. Amsterdam is somehow, it has its rough edges, but in general it's kind of a, a soft city in some ways. It's a very international city, so every other two years I have a whole new group of friends who actually travel to Amsterdam to be creative. What you will see here and find here, it's all connected to the space. If you look around, you will see the sky, you will see the crane, you will see the buildings. If you experience what's in there, like a sunset or a festival or a little party or a big exposition, it's new, it's special. I'm one of the two owners of Café Noorderlicht. It's not only a lunch cafe, we also uh, do have uh, dinners and uh, especially in the summer and the nights we have a lot of parties. In the 80s the dogs got broke, so there was no work. There was like a squad group, they took over the warehouses, they built ateliers, found plans for creative industry. People with big pockets and a lot of money came. Still a lot of artists keep the balance between commercial stuff and creative underground. I think that tolerance in Amsterdam really started with just the fact that it was a naval city, a port city. People from all over the world would always come here and really get to experience each other's cultures and all that. Club Nix is a multi-minded new kind of club. I would call it straight friendly. Whoever you are, you're welcome to come here and it's all about just the exception of whoever you are. <laughs> 